Morning, everyone. Welcome to our weekly Saturday morning Zoom cooking show. So quick question. How many of you are first timers? First time seeing a Thermomix demo, type in one in the chat box. And if you are already a customer, type in number two. That's fantastic. We've got a lot of newcomers. So we are going to do our best to share with you the wonders of Thermomix. So myself and all my other partners will be sharing with you today. Okay. So I'm going to start it off. Okay, so welcome everyone to our cooking experience. Okay, because the dish that I'm doing today is actually um, lemang, so it takes a while for it to steam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump straight into the recipe and then come back to the introduction and everything once I've got it going, all right? So just a quick review first before I pour water into the bowl. We have our Thermomix stainless steel bowl, which is 2.2 liters, right? And inside the bowl, there are markings which show uh, 500, one liter, 1,500 and two liters. Right, so I have already pre measured my water and I'm going to pour in 1000 grams, which is one liter of water. Okay, and I'm going to close it. All right, and for TM6, what I love about it is that. It has something called a kettle mode. So I can actually just pour any amount of water and not worry about setting the time. So I am going to use the kettle mode and boil the water to 100 degrees. So it's already set at 100 and I just touch on the kettle and start it off and it will start going, all right? So now I'm actually just boiling the water before I put everything on for the steaming. Okay, so come back to the introduction. If you have a TM5, you will need to boil the water for about eight minutes on Varoma temperature speed one. Okay, so my name is Sunita. And um, I've been with Thermomix for about, coming to about five years now. Okay. So what I love about the Thermomix is that it is, it saves me a lot of money in terms of not having to buy food outside. It also is reliably easy. For me, I would say it's very easy to use. The food is really healthy because you know exactly what you're putting into it. So it's, um, you know, there's no MSG, and there's no artificial flavorings. It also allows me to be creative because I love baking, so I do a lot of breads, etc. And it saves me a lot of time. So I don't have to stand and stir over a hot stove. I can actually be all dressed up and still cook, right? Thermomix has been around for a very, very long time. The company itself, Forvec, has been around for 135 years. And in Malaysia, Thermomix has been here for the past 11 years. We have won numerous awards, international awards for its design and its um, quality. So, when it first started, it was more or less like a blender, okay? And it has evolved over the years to what you see today, which is the TM6, 
which is your all-in-one kitchen and which is your smart at heart machine, all right? And we will tell you later why it is called smart at heart. Okay, so discovering the thermal mix. All right, we have what we call the Varoma. So the Varoma is used for steaming and it has a lid. It has a flat layer called the Varoma tray and then a deep layer called the Varoma dish. Okay, and this is what I will be using to steam the lama. So to steam, you will actually need to remove the MC cup and just put it on top and allow it to steam. Okay, so since my water is boiling, I'm just gonna leave it for a bit, all right? Then we have, of course, the mixing bowl that I showed you just now. We have the splash guard, which is used for high temperature cooking. So all these accessories that I'm showing you come complete with your thermal mix when you buy a unit, all right? So this is the splash guard. We have the measuring cup, which is this one on top, so-called because there are two markings on the inside of the cup, which show you a 50 ml and 100 ml measure for a quick measurement, all right? We have the simmering basket, which goes inside your bowl and it's great for cooking rice, for boiling potatoes, for anything that you want to steam or cook without having it broken up. And we also have our spatula, which actually hooks into the simmering basket to help you lift it out once the food is cooked because it's going to be hot, right? We also have a butterfly whisk, which is used for whipping meringues, um, egg whites, etc., whipping cream, and an automatic locking system. I'm not sure if you noticed, but the minute I started it, the arms here locked into the bowl. So it is very safe because children cannot open the lid while it is working, right? And a six inch touch screen, which is like your smartphone, you just scroll either to your left or to your right. And here you have the first screen, which is cookie do, and you can search recipes online, right? And a one selected dial. So this dial controls the speed the time, the speed, and the temperature, all right? Of course, we cannot forget our German motto. It is a frictionless motto, so you do not have to worry. Unlike normal blenders, which get overheated when you are blending things for a long time, our German motto is frictionless, so it does not overheat at all. So for those of you, um, our Indian customers who like to make their tosse or idli and it, you need to grind the flour. I used to do it for my mom before with a regular blender and I would have to stop every few minutes. Okay, so this is done. Let me just continue with my recipe first. Okay, so we have here, we have here um, 250 grams of glutinous rice, which have been pre-soaked for at least two hours or more. All right, and then I have drained it. And then I have a mix of 250 grams of um, santan, but I used kara or you can use ayam brand, whatever is in the box because the fresh one is um, quite runny, so you need 250 grams of the thick santan as well as 100 grams of water and a teaspoon of salt. So that has been mixed in here, right? And I have prepped paper cups with banana leaf, lined with banana leaf. So all you need to do is put in about two tablespoons of pulut. I'm just gonna put it all in. Okay. 
You can put a little more. I'm just going to finish up. I did um, about a quarter of it earlier so that I could show you the finished product because it takes a while to steam and it might not finish by the time our cooking show is done. So I will show you what I do here. Okay. So we're just putting it all in. Oh, thank you, that. Okay, so it's filled up to about three quarters. And then I'm going to pour santan in to the same level as the pulo rice. Okay, so I'm going to put in the santan. So I'm not sure if you can see, but the santan is in to like about the same level as the rice. Then, so I have here about um, five cups, five little paper cups. But the other day, I actually did it in um, kind of improvised and used um, recycled beer cans. So they're a bit bigger and longer, so you can do more because the paper cups are really tiny. So I can get like three slices of lemang out of each cup. Right, so you can use, um, okay, I tried with the Schweppes uh, soda cans, but the material is a little thinner, so it actually bends while I'm trying to cut the top off. All right, so because I'm going to put in about five cups, see the holes that are at the bottom of your Varoma dish? you need to make sure that you do not block those holes. So I have here a very low trivet. So this trivet has just like little buttons on the bottom. So it's very, very low and it's just enough to give it a bit of a raise. So I'm gonna arrange my cups in. And when you do arrange, things into your Varoma for steaming, especially if they are things like this. Avoid putting them in the middle because our Varoma lid has a little button in the center, which is that, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the water actually condenses and then drips down the center. So we don't want it to drip down the middle. So now I'm going to go back and set it for 30 minutes on Varoma temperature, which is the steaming temperature and speed one. Okay, so I'm going to leave that and come back to our introduction. Okay, so <clears throat> as I was saying, for blending pose and if we uh, flour, my blender always used to overheat. So I have to stop, wait a few minutes for it to cool down and then start. But with the double mix, I don't have to worry. I can just do it like all in one go and not worry at all. So how much does this amazing machine cost? Sorry, that was 30 seconds, not 30 minutes. <laughs> and you can hear that lovely sound which calls you when it's done. This lovely machine is only 6988 with the discount that we have. Original price is 7188. And we do have financing options for you. 
on major credit cards. So you ask your advisor. And if you do a 24 month payment plan, it works out to only about 291 ringgit per month. Okay, which is a lot cheaper than packing food because even for two people, you would probably spend more than 10 ringgit per meal, right? Or you could join us as an advisor. So please do ask the person who invited you on how that program works. One Thermomix does it all, literally, right? So just to ask some of you, if you have a blender type one in the chat box, if you have a steamer type two in the chat box, if you have a hand mixer or a Kenwood mixer type three in the chat box, I'm sure you all have a weighing scale, so type four. And if those of you who like to make bread, if you have a bread machine, type five. <laughs> so some of you have all of those, right? But can you imagine if you have all these appliances, would you have them out on your kitchen counter? Because with the way um, most kitchens are, they're not very, very big. So if you have everything out on your kitchen counter, you don't have space for anything else, right? So Sarah says it's under her sink in a dark corner. Yes, that's what happens because what we do is when we have too many appliances, we tend to put it away when we're not using it because you may not use your bread maker every day. You may not use your Kenwood mixer or hand mixer every day. So we put it away. And then when we want to use it, we have to take it out, give it a good clean, and then use it, clean it after that, wipe it, dry it, and put it away again, which is a lot of work. So sometimes when we want to like make something, we think about all the work involved, like you know, having to take it out, wipe it, clean it, put it away. With the thermomix, okay. it can be just the one appliance sitting on your counter all the time. And you would use it for your breakfast to make your half-boiled eggs. I use it to make my smoothie in the morning. I use it for my husband's half-boiled eggs. And then come lunchtime, I use it for cooking rice. I use it for cooking curries. So I can use it for everything, all right? So... The most important thing is that it can do everything and it saves you all that space on your counter, correct? And it's the perfect kitchen machine for any lifestyle. Whether you're single, I have a lot of friends who have children um, studying overseas and they have it in their dorm room because they don't need to have a stove, they don't need to have, um, gas or um, electricity piped in. They don't need to have pots and pans because your dormitory room is already so small, right? So just the Thermomix and they can pretty much cook everything with their Thermomix. Or if you are a newlywed and just setting up home, you don't need to buy any other appliance, just get your Thermomix. If you have young children at home, it's also great because the Thermomix is has so many safety features built in that you can cook with your children. And if your children are at a reading age from five and above, they can also make their own dishes in the Thermomix using our guided cooking. Or if you're in your golden years, people who are older, who need to sit and cook, you can actually sit and cook as well, right? The Thermomix is so versatile, you can actually use it anywhere. I'm in my dining room today, and as you can see, my sitting room is behind me. So there's no fumes, there's absolutely no smells. It's really, really, I can even do my mutton here in the dining room and not worry about any splatter or anything, right? And I can be entertaining guests because 
if I'm cooking, I don't have to watch the stove. So I can just leave it and go, right? So while this is steaming, I'm going to hand you over to Alina. And she's going to show you the next recipe. Over to Alina. Hi everyone, Elena here. I'm your Thermomix Advisor and Team Manager. Okay, so perfect introduction there from Sunita. So now I'm going to talk to you about cookie dough. So cookie dough might seem uh, like a new word for you, but it's uh, like a song that all Thermomix users always uh, mm. do. Cookie dough. cookie dough is basically our online recipe platform. Mm. So started we only have 40,000 recipes on yeah. cookie but now yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Update, yeah. we yeah. have it, it tells you exactly what to do but, so with that you can never go wrong so that's why we all Cookie do on your laptop. So if you do, if you save a particular recipe that you like and you create a folder, it can be shown on your Thermomix as well. Alternatively, you can also uh, search directly from your Thermomix as well. So what I did just now was I saved this particular recipe on my handphone and now how I can access it from my Thermomix. So how do I do that? Okay, so you have your, I'm not sure whether you could see, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit glaring, but I'll just explain it to you. So the, the, default, uh, the default screen for your Thermomix is the three dials. Okay, the time, temperature and speed. But if you swipe it this way, you can sort of see it. So this is cookie dough. So you can directly search from here whatever recipes that you want, roti canai, uh, mi goreng mama, tetari, and, what, so, and so forth. Okay, but if you go back here, you could actually see these three bars up here. So I click on it, and then I go to my week. And then there you go. That's the recipe that I saved earlier. So we click on it. It says banana and chocolate chip muffins. So that's what we're going to make now. So if I scroll down, I could see all the uh, information about the recipe. It says uh, how long does it take to make it for how many people. And then it says all the ingredients here and the general overview of the recipe and some tips as well. So now I'm just going to press start cooking. Okay, And it says preheat oven to 180 degrees Celsius, which I have done. Okay, so it really literally just tells you what to do step by step. Next, it says line 10 holes of 12 uh, whole muffin tin with paper muffin cases, which I have done as well. Yeah, okay. And then we press next. Place 150 grams of plain flour. Okay, so now we start. Okay. So I just zero rise the scale. So see it, it actually, I'm not sure if you could see, but I think you, you could sort of see it from there. So it, uh, it automatically shows you the scale and all you need to do is tear or zero rise it and then just follow the steps. Now we're going to put 150 grams of clean flour here. Okay. And then. Next, okay, 120 grams of unsalted butter. So here you go, unsalted butter. So you can see that it's very easy. So that's why Sunita said just now, if you have toddlers and kids from five years onward, five years, five years old onwards, they can actually do this themselves. I love baking with my daughter because she can actually do this on her own. Okay, next, it says 100 grams caster sugar. Okay, over here. It's 
Butter just now to paste it. And then two ripe bananas or approximately 200 grams cut in pieces, which I have right here. Three large eggs. And one and a half teaspoon of baking powder. So I have half teaspoon here. I'll going to, I'll put in three of these. Next, one pinch of sea salt. And insert the lid. Okay, so now um, you know the, the dial just now, the time, temperature, and speed, it is already preset for you. You don't have to change, um, you don't have to change the time, you don't have to change the temperature. All you need to do is turn speed selector to speed five. And it actually highlights where speed uh, where level five is. I know you can't see it, but just imagine it, yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. Then you just press next. Okay, when you hear that, it means that it's done. You just need to press next, okay? Okay, now it says scrape down the sides with a spatula, okay? In just six seconds, it has mixed all the ingredients just now. Let me just show you. Okay. And I only have one ingredient left to put, which is the chocolate chip. Next, okay, add milk chocolate chips, 100 grams. It shows the, uh, the scale over there. So here I have my chocolate chips. And then put the lid back, press next. And again, everything is preset for you five seconds uh, and then zero degrees and turn speed selectors to speed four. four it locks. Okay, done. So that's your batter. So now all I need to do is transfer it into the paper cups. Very easy. So that's why we say everyone can cook, everyone can can bake, your kids can do it, um, your parents, your elderly parents can do it. So it's very, very easy. Imagine doing this with all 70,000 recipes, all the choices that you have. Amazing, isn't it? Okay. So I'm just going to put this in here and then I'm going to bake it and I'll show it to you afterwards. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to pass the screen over to my colleague, Azri. Hi everyone, good morning. Okay, my name is Ezri and today I'll be cooking the ayam masak lemak chili api. Okay, so this recipe I'll be doing it manually. Okay, so uh, Elena was using a cookie recipe, so you just press next, next, then just follow. Okay, so you also have another way of cooking which is manual. So manual you can either um, read a recipe from a book and set it or you can even find a lot of recipes online. Okay, so our, um, we have a portal for uh, recipes that people can upload recipes there. So I got one recipe from there and I'm just gonna cook this manually. Okay, so the first step is um, I will have to place this chili padi here. Okay, so I don't like very spicy stuff, but I like a bit of spiciness. So I have six chili padi. So if you like spicy, you can go up to 10, okay, or more even. And then I have four lemongrass here and four garlic cloves, okay? So, and also uh, turmeric. So fresh turmeric is 20 grams. So we're gonna put everything in and blend, okay? 
And I have water here, about 100 ml. So while we blend, I'm just going to pour the water through the top of this because here there's actually a hole. When you close this, there's actually a bit of space for water to flow in. Okay. So we're going to set this to 50 seconds. Okay. And then there's no temperature because we are just blending. And we go straight to speed 10, which is the fastest speed, which is 10,200 rotation per minute. Okay, so let's go. So when the sound comes on, means it's ready. Okay, so just carefully open. Okay, so you get this really nice paste inside. Okay, so do not waste the top part here. Okay, I might have like a little bit of cough because of the chili party. <coughs> okay, you just push it down. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay, just 50 seconds of blending. Every time, uh, everything becomes a really nice paste. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to add um, 80 grams of oil. So you can use virgin, <coughs> sorry, virgin coconut oil or you can use uh, veggie oil if you want. Okay, even you can even use um, olive oil if you want. Okay, so we also have a built-in scale that you can choose manually. So you scroll to the left and then you press the scale button. So we need 80 grams of oil, okay? Just, um, if it changes, just press tear and then pour the oil. Okay, see, you can see 80, right? So I have about 81. Okay, just cover. Okay, so now we are going to um, saute this for five minutes, okay? So we just set the time to five minutes. Then temperature is 120. So sorting is always 120. Okay. And then speed, we are going to go to speed two. Oh, sorry. We are going to use, sorry, it's actually four minutes. And we are going to use Varoma, okay? And speed two. Just gonna wipe this a little bit. So um, here we are just um, sorting all the ingredients earlier. Okay, so if you do this manually, first you need to take out your blender, right? So you blend, okay? After that, sorting you have to put into the quali or pot. Okay, so you already have two things to wash uh, there. Okay, so with Thermomix, everything happens in your one bowl. And even then, later you can actually use the pre-clean mode to clean your bowl. Okay, so you don't have to do the uh, the hard work to clean the bowl. We have four settings for you to choose from. So if you put something like this, you can actually choose the universal mode and just add water halfway and a few squirts of detergent and it will clean thoroughly. Okay, so here I'm in my, uh, I'm in my dry kitchen actually and I don't have to care about oil splatter because if you do this on the pot or quali, you have to be there continuously stirring, right? So we can just leave here to cook. Okay, so sorting is always 120, but we put it at Varoma. We just want it to be slightly more hot okay, because we're just going to saute for just four minutes. All right, so I love cooking, especially veggies in my thermal mix. Okay, when you cook veggies at 120 degrees, you can preserve all the nutrients and you can actually see the color of the veggie is very vibrant. Something that is very hard to do when you cook on the fire. Okay, because when you cook on the fire, it goes up to 
180, 200 degrees and it keeps on going up. And when it's that hot, sometimes you will burn the oil that you use, especially okay. this olive oil on the fire. Okay, and then because of that, the burnt oil will also burn your food and it becomes toxic. Okay, so if you want to cook veggies, the best way is to cook with thermomix okay, at 120 degrees and you get to enjoy all the nutrients from the vegetable. Okay, so other than low temperature, we also have high temperature with thermomix. So with high temperature, you can get a bit more aroma and flavor from browning. Okay, so we do browning like you can brown your meat, you can brown your um, uh, vegetable. Okay, so just slightly higher temperature at 160 degrees. And we also have the sugar stages at 170 degrees. You can actually make your own caramel in here. You can also make your own lollipop. Okay, so Thermomix will encourage you to make everything from scratch. Okay, so the first few things that I tried when I got my Thermomix was the chicken stock paste. So I stopped buying all the chicken stock cubes from the supermarket because those things are full of preservatives and we don't know what else they put in there. Okay, and it can last you more than one year. So you know there's a lot of preservatives in there. Okay, so make your own. It's so simple. You can just use veggies and chicken meat and uh, salt okay, to preserve. So you can keep it about two, three months in the fridge. Okay, so I love my chicken stock paste. So you can also make chicken stock powder. You can make ikan bili seasoning. Okay, you can make a lot of paste using the mix. Okay. So we also have um, all this um, temperature control that you can use um, when you cook with Thermomix. Okay, so you can melt your chocolate at 50. Okay, if you want to make your own sauces like tomato sauce, mayonnaise, hollandaise, okay, you can do it at 70 degrees. And you can also brew your tea and coffee in here. And you can make kaya. Okay, kaya at 90 degrees for 40 minutes, it will keep on turning for you. Okay, because if you do it manually, for one half hours, you have to be in front of the Quietly or your pot stirring continu continuously, right? Okay, and sorting is always 120. And then we have browning, like I said, it's not at 160, and also caramelizing at 170 degrees. Okay, so that's done. <laughs> Smells really good, and my throat. <laughs> okay. So now we are going to add the chicken and santan. Okay, so I have here uh, chicken, uh, organic chicken. Okay, I cut into 16 pieces. You can use ayam kampung if you want. Okay, so just put everything in. Okay, we have a lot of rendang recipes. If you want to try a chicken rendang, beef rendang. Okay, and then we need to add the santan. This is 500 grams of santan. If you want to weigh, same thing, you just go to the scale and just weigh. Slightly less. Right. So now we are going to set at. So we're going to set to 11 minutes. Okay. Okay, and then temperature is 120 degrees. And then make sure we on the reverse button. Okay, I'll explain afterwards. And speed is good. Okay, the slowest stirring speed. Okay, so here we have, if you cook manually, you need to know there's a reverse button on the speed dial. Okay, so the small circle that so by default, it uses the sharp side. So whenever you blend, okay, you just leave it at the default. But if you are cooking like this and you put your meat or your veggie in, you need to remember to on that uh, reverse button so that it uses the blunt side to stir. Okay, so it doesn't cut up your meat, it will not cut up your veggie. Okay, so maybe the first few times you might get, you know, you might not know how to use or you might forget, it's okay. But once you can make sure you will learn from it. Okay, so just remember that small button is the reverse button. Okay, so uh, we also have a few modes. Okay. okay, so if you scroll to this side, 
you will see we have a lot of modes here and then you can scroll down and you can see we still have a few more spaces. Okay, so from time to time, because this is Wi-Fi connected, you just have to update your software and you get new functions. Okay, so it's very simple, just like your phone. It will also update this. We call it smart at heart. Okay, so one of the modes is the kettle mode. Okay, so this is different from the normal kettle. If you on the normal kettle, it goes straight to 100 degrees. For our kettle, you can actually set to the temperature that you want. Okay, so if you like to drink tea like me, if you like green tea, you can set it at 75 degrees. And if you are a coffee lover, set it at 95. Okay, don't go until the boiling point because you will not enjoy the flavor of the tea and coffee. Okay, and then we also have the slow cook mode. Okay, on reverse up to eight hours. So if you want to do your soup tulang, you want to do your lamb shank, you can try this. And we also have fermentation mode. If you are a bit more adventurous, you can try making your own cheese and also yogurt. Okay, so this is up to 12 hours right. on fermentation. Okay, so we have a lot of recipes on cookie do for you to make your own yogurt and even um, cheese. Okay, and my favorite mode is the sous vide mode. So this one you get uh, restaurant quality food at home. Okay, so what you have to do is cook your meat in a BPA free uh, plastic bag and then uh, we cook using the water bath method. Okay, so a lot of restaurants have the sous vide machine at the back, so they will have a lot of their meat already in there, and then let's say you go to the restaurant and order your steak, and you ask for medium, so they will take out the meat from the back, and then they will sit to the doneness that you ordered. Okay, so it's the same thing, you can get this at home, you can try with salmon, you can try with beef, you can try with chicken, even fruits, and even sous vide egg. Okay, it's very, very yummy and flavorful. Yes, and it's really, really nice. Yes. Right, so before I um, continue, I will pass to, okay, just to let you know, later, I will add in the potato. All right. The finger and a bit of salt, one teaspoon of salt, okay, and continue for another five minutes. Okay, but for now, I will pass to Ayu. She's going to show us a nice dessert. And then I'll see you later. Okay? Okay, hi everyone. Good morning. Salam Ideal Switchery. As you can see, I'm currently in my kitchen. I'm not going to show you how to make a bread, but I just want to show you how um, often I use my thermomix. Well, this morning, I made this delicious bread, as you can see, fresh from the oven. And then, we also made fresh lemonade, really easy and fast. So, I guess I'm thinking whether, you know, am I really going to be using the thermomix or is it just going to sit at the side? I have shown to you that you are going to more or less overuse it instead of underuse it because it's always used most of the time. So for today, since it's a lovely hot actually, at least it goes on what I'm um, doing. Okay, one second. Let me just see the next time. Okay, I think some of them are not me. Okay, uh, can you all hear me clearly now? Is it clear? Yes. Yay. All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do today is something very fast, easy, and simple in basically less than 10 seconds. So besides doing um, ABC ice kopal, you can also make healthy homemade sorbet ice cream, which means you buy fresh fruits, you freeze it, and you just put it in the thermomix, and within one minute, your ice cream is done. Simple, healthy at the same time. Because when you go and buy store-bought ice creams, do you wonder why, you know, the expiry date is one year plus or, you know, it's a very long expiry date because there's so many preservatives in it. So that's why. Okay, so I'm going to make ice kapal. I couldn't bring out the ice earlier because it will melt. Now, this recipe is in cookie dough, like um, they mentioned earlier. No. So all you do is just follow step by step. It is super guided. So I've already retrieved the um, item. Okay, so I'm going to do 
what we have is, and as you know, ABC, you can add in whatever, you know, condiments that you want. So I have, I hope it doesn't fall gula melaka here. I have, I think, evaporated creamer and um, sweet corn. I have chin chow and, oh, I have gula melaka and a bit of syrup. So I'm going to put all of this on my ice kapal. So just give me a second because I need to get the ice. I didn't want to leave it out or else it will be melted by the time I can even make it. Ta-da! I've got all my ice in here. So what I'm going to do is basically just take, follow the steps that it says. Okay, I'm going to put all these ice cubes. I'm going to have so much of ice kapha. Anyone that lives nearby me can come and have ice kapha. All right. Ice is done. Now watch the magic in just 10 seconds. Okay. So it's going to get... Can you hear the sound? Okay, so that's the sound that tells you it's the next step if you're falling to cookie dough. So no matter where you are in your house, whether you're drying the clothes, whether you're watering the plants, whether you're you know checking on your children while they are doing their online classes, or whether you yourself are in a meeting, it will always call you with that tone. So when you hear it, make sure you go to it and attend to it. It will not stop beeping until you attend to it. Ta-da! Look at that. How nice it looks like. <laughs> now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to scoop up. This is so easy. So I'm sure most of you have ice at home. Okay, so in less than 10 seconds, if you, if you, you know, if your kids are at home, they are bored, you don't know what to do, get them to go to the freezer, get some ice, dump it inside, 15 seconds, speed 10, and you're done. That's how easy and fast it is. So besides that, like I said, you can even make um, ice cream, healthy ice cream sorbet, and uh, like I showed you, fresh lemonade in just less than four seconds. And the best thing is you're getting it fresh because the pulp is also in there, so it is really, really good. I think I shall make it a little bit higher. It's going to be a little bit messy in my house, but it's okay. At least you can see. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> okay, we've got the brown sugar. Now, this brown sugar, I actually melted um, using the thermomix itself. If you follow the recipe, it tells you to melt the, um, what is this? the gulam laka. It tells you to melt the gulam laka. So this is the gulam laka. But since I already made and melted some of it, so I thought might as well. Let's put some more gulam laka. Ooh. The great thing about making it on your own is that you can add as much sugar, as much of your diabetes in it. And this is evaporated cream. I'm not sure whether I'm just putting all kinds of things on top. This is the sweet jagung. You can put red beans, you can put chia seeds. So whatever that you have in the kitchen, you know, just take it out and just serve it to your guests or your kids. That's why I say one thing I love about Thermomix is it has been a really great bonding session with me and my kids because technically if my kids were here, they will be decorating it full with whatever they like. You know how some may not like jago, some may like chinchow, some may like chendol, some may like this, that. Even my husband is so fussy. So that's why it's really, really amazing. Look at it. 
and that's why I said, I'm so glad that it's a hot day, it's not raining. So excuse me for a while, while I dig into it. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> and if you know, um, Teh Tare is one of the um, more sought after uh, recipes that you have to do on your thermomix because you don't have to tare tare. The thing is, when you tare tare, half of the tea is actually going into the sink when you tare. So when you drink, you only probably have half. Whereas with the thermomix, in 10 seconds, again, the teh tare is done for you with the perfect foam. I actually had some yesterday, so it was really good. All right, so while I continue to enjoy my ABC, I'll pass it to my colleague. See you. Hey, hi everyone, I'm back. Okay, so I just put in the potatoes and one asam kuping and also one teaspoon of salt in here. And we continue cooking for five minutes and temperature is varoma and the same reverse and spoon. Okay, so varoma is because we want to thicken the sauce. Okay, so if you want to, if you cook something and you want to thicken the sauce, the last three to five minutes, you can turn it to the varoma temperature. Okay. So here I will talk about the benefits of cooking uh, using thermomix. Okay, so you saw just now, I use 15 seconds. Okay, you can blend the ice to become, you know, powder like that. It's really nice. You can make your ice to part. You make our lemonade, it's just four to six seconds. Okay, and you can make your asam boy kalamansi as well, just four seconds as well. So it's very fast and easy. Okay, and everybody can cook. Okay, you saw Elena just now using the cookie dough recipe. And you just have to follow the uh, steps, okay? Just follow the ingredients and just press next. So even your kids and your husband, your parents, all can use thermomix because it's just like your phone. It's very user friendly, okay? And healthy, okay? Because we most of our cooking, we cook at 120 degrees and you can preserve nutrients when you cook at that low temperature, okay? Something that is very hard to do on the fire. Okay, so you might eat something that is nice because you put a lot of flavoring and seasoning, but you don't actually get to absorb the benefits. Okay, and auto cooking here, you know, it's been cooking for me. I don't have to attend to it. If I'm not here talking to you, I'll be running, you know, after my kids and doing something else, or I can even go and wash the dishes. Okay, I don't have to worry about uh, what's going on here. Okay, and we also have the auto washing mode. Like I said, just now after this, I just have to add water and go to the pre-tip mode and it will help clean for me. Okay, and space saving, like Sunita said, you know, we have so many appliances at home, but if you want a clean kitchen, we usually keep it in the cabinet. Or if you don't see it, means you won't use it, right? I used to have a mixer as well. I, For me, in my head, I love baking, but I never really bake because it's always in the cabinet. And if I take it out, after I'm done, I want to keep it because I want a clean kitchen. So I end up not really baking. Okay, but Thermomix, it can do 20 and more functions. So you have this in your kitchen, just one of this is good enough. Okay, and some of us, we, we even have two. Okay, because when you have two, it represents your stove. It, uh, you can cook faster, you can do more things. Okay, so if you want to get a second unit, do let us know, okay? And goodbye to cooking fumes, okay? So I'm in my dry kitchen, there's no uh, food here. I don't have to worry, whatever you see here is just vapor. So vapor, it will not stick on me. I will not smell like him yet or the ones that should be up here after this. Okay, I will, this one, it will smell nice and then it will just go away. But if you cook using the fire, okay, because the oil burns and then your food will also overburn, that's when you get the fumes. Okay, so fumes is something that, you know, it will stick your baju, your hair, your furniture, especially if you live in a condo, right? So the whole house will smell like belacan or, you know, whatever that you cook. So you will not get that with thermomics, okay? So again, the price is six nine eight eight. Okay, if you take the installment plan, it starts at two hundred ninety one a month, and it's available for most major credit cards. Okay, and we also have um, a promotion now. If you pay one time full payment, either via um, cash or credit card, 
you will get an extra cookbook. Okay, so you can choose one of three cookbooks. Okay, either a Malay kitchen, easy meals, or three in one cookbook worth 160 ringgit. Okay, and right now, if you buy and you help us post a demo, means you just bring three friends to our cooking show that's happening like this every Saturday. You bring three friends and you get to claim. Okay, one of it is our mat. Okay, this thermal mat. It's really awesome. It's 190 ringgit. Whenever I go and do demo, all my customers will ask, is this included in the in the, the whole set? I always say no, sorry, but now it is it is the first time in I don't know since I joined since two years ago. This is the first time the company is giving this. So this is very, very awesome because it can actually go into the oven up to 230 degrees. So you don't need to use your baking sheet anymore. And it can also go in the freezer, okay, as low as for minus 40 degrees. Okay, so you can use this as your proofing mat, you can proof your dough, okay, and it has all these measurements, so you know if you need to make a rectangular shape of 30 to by 20, you know that it's all there. Okay, so this is 190, you will get it. And also a Tasty Asia cookbook, okay. So this cookbook is an award-winning cookbook. I love this uh, cookbook. It has a lot of awesome recipes in here. Okay, and this is worth 160, so you will also get this. Okay, we have nyonya steamed fish. Okay, we have stir fried. Um, a lot of um, yeah, we have some pork recipes. We have Thai green curry chicken. Okay, we have a lot of nice recipes in here. So that is the current promo. So you want to get your thermomix today, all right? And so what is in the whole set? So you will get all the accessories that Sunita showed earlier, plus the basic cookbook. So this basic cookbook, you can choose an English one or a Chinese one. So let your advisor know which cookbook you want. And it's awesome because whatever is in here has been digitalized as well. So you can start cooking right away using the guided cooking in your, from your Thermomix. Okay, it's already safe when you get your Thermomix. Okay, and we also have cooking class like this every Saturday for English and Wednesday for Chinese. So every week we will send out um, our invite to our customers. Okay, and if you're interested to see again next week, just let us know. And we do free delivery all over Malaysia. Okay, so if you have family and friends in Sabah and Sarawak, you can also send to them. All right, and um, yeah, we do unboxing service. We have virtual unboxing service for you as well. So you are not left alone and we have um, a support group as well. Okay, in case you have any questions, you can let us know. Okay, and you also get two-year warranty against manufacturing defects. Okay, and if you're interested to be an advisor like me, Elena, Sanita, and Ayu, do let us know. Okay, and who should you recommend it to? So if you have friends that you know always ordering grab food, food panda, do reach out to them. Okay, it's not sometimes it's not that they don't know how to cook, but maybe they are so busy, you know, they don't have time to cook, so they end up ordering food. So we have a lot of customers who spend thousands on those uh, delivery food um, services. And then, you know, instead of that, why not you spend on really good ingredients and cook for your family? It's so easy, especially when you have to work from home. You just have to put in your ingredients and then you just leave it to cook. And then you can go back to your work or then to your kids. Okay, and you have friends who love to cook, but they are in the kitchen the whole day. Okay, and even if you love to cook, something that's hard to do is to get uh, to preserve nutrients when you cook on the fire okay and people who don't know how to cook we have the guided cooking for you so you're you're not clueless okay you just have to follow the steps and the list of ingredients when you cook with the mix are simple ingredients that you can get from the supermarket okay and maybe of course um, families with children okay so we want to try to give the best food for our children because they are in their growing years you know so the best is of course home cooked food and also, if you have yeah, uh, families with um, health requirement or, you know, our parents, grandparents, it's always best to eat at home as well because you cannot control the ingredients that they use outside. Okay, what kind of oil they use. Okay, the, uh, yeah, the simple thing, like whatever ingredient they use, you don't know whether they actually wash it properly. Okay, so it's best to take control of all that. All right, so thank you again. So I'm going to go around. Okay, maybe we'll start at Sunita to show her dish. And then we go to Elena for a plate. Okay, and then we go to Ayu again and now I'll come back. Okay, so see you in shortly. Okay, so the lemang is done. Take 
Okay, so the two at the back have just finished steaming. So I'm going to put them in the oven. Can you see? Up close. So the ones that are still in the roll, I will put in the oven to grill for about five minutes and then turn it halfway and another five minutes. And the ones that have been cut are already done earlier today so that I could show you the finished product. So that's what the lemang looks like. And if you would like to make um, rendang, you can have it with your rendang. The other day, I actually used um, the beef with rendang recipe from Comfort Foods cookbook. And I actually used mutton instead. And it turned out really, really nice. So you don't it's have to be Malay to cook lemang. Ooh. And this was my first time making it the other day. So I was impressed myself. And my son, when he ate it, my younger son, when he ate it, he goes, oh, I haven't had lemang in so long. And it's really nice because after you grill it in the oven, it actually tastes very authentic, similar to the ones you get from the bamboo, from the roadside lemang sellers. Okay, so get your thermomix and make your own lemang at home with all this MCO and everything. You want to be cooking as much as you can at home. Okay, so over to the next uh, person to show their dish. Alina. Hi, can you see me? Okay, all right. Before I show you my dish, um, so now, uh, as you uh, mentioned about the pre-wash function, right? That's like the best friend of every Thermomix user. So remember, I was making the batter just now for the muffin and imagine how sticky everything is inside. So what I did was I fill up water halfway and I put a squirt of uh, sunlight in there and then just look what happened. It's all soap water in there. I'm just going to pour it out and show it to you. So this is before rinsing, okay? So if you just rinse. Amazing, isn't it? So everything is very easy with the more mix. So now let's go to the best part. A lot of you said that it was really fast to do this. Yes, it was very fast. And imagine if you could just smell this. Okay, see, look at that. Let me just get you to see it closer. That's our banana and chocolate chip muffin. Okay, can you smell it? Can you smell it? Okay, just smell it lah. Okay. That looks so pretty. Imagine doing this with your kids. My daughter love, uh, loves baking with me. Oh, you cannot see. She loves baking with me. So it's very easy. I know a lot of you working moms, especially you feel very lazy to um, make uh, cupcakes or cakes or cookies with your kids because you have to wash, you have to prepare everything and um, all the batter all over the counter. But look at my counter. That's, it's basically really clean, you know? So uh, it's a fun way to spend time with your kids. So I do encourage a lot of you to buy this and it's, it will totally, the moments will totally change your life. Okay, there you go. Okay, next, uh, off to the next person. Okay, so I'm back. I just wanted to show you, this is called a thermo server. Okay, it's really good because what it does is it actually helps to keep the temperature of your food. So for example, like the ice kapal, the balance that I did just now, so I've kept it in here and you can see the ice is still solid. It has not melted quickly in our hot and humid weather, surprisingly. So it really keeps like your food at the right temperature. So if you're making ice cream, you can put it in here. It's be still nice and cold. 
if you're making curries or your rice, you can put it in here. And the best thing is, um, for those of you who have joined us today, you can invite your friends and you can purchase this thermo server for only 50%. So even if you don't own a Thermomix, you can still have this amazing thermo server at half the price, which is a really good deal. Um, it's really, really great because, you know, you, it just looks so pretty just to be served like that. See? Uh, it looks nice on the tabletop. So as I mentioned earlier as well, that you can melt the ulam laka in here. So that's what I did because my earlier round of ulam laka finished and my husband saw me doing the ice kopal and eating it. He ran in and asked me to do one. So this is his version. Um, there. This is the ulam laka that is melted. Now, one thing is good is that when you melt sugar and chocolate, it gives you the precise temperature so you do not overburn it. So I'm just going to drizzle it on top here like that. Ah, sedapnya. Okay, so I hope you try all our recipes today and don't forget to get in touch with your advisors to know all about the Thermomix. I'll pass it to Ezri now. Thank you, Ayu, Elena, and Sunita. They all look so delicious. And thank God, Ramadan dah habis, so we can straight away eat this for our lunch. Okay, so this is my dish. Okay, the masak lemak chili api. Okay, chicken. So you can try this recipe. You can get the recipe from your advisor after this. Okay, so I want to tell you about me and Malay cooking. I never really used to cook Malay dishes because for me, it was intimidating. And secondly, I know it involves a lot of oil and continuous stirring and a lot of oil, oil splatter and all that. So I never really used um, to cook Malay dishes. Okay, but with Thermomix, everything happens in that, this bowl. I don't have to worry about all that. Okay, and I know whatever that I cook, I will get to absorb all the nutrients. Okay, so you're killing a lot of birds, okay, with one stone with Thermomix. Okay, so make sure you order your Thermomix and get our gifts, okay, this really, really awesome Thermomat and Tasty Asia book. Okay, and yeah, I'll see you again inshallah next week. Okay, Salamat Hari Raya to everyone. Thank you for joining. Bye. Bye everyone. Thank you for joining us. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.